Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn a new chapter called Ionic Equilibria for subtopic number 1, Acids and Bases, covering acid-based definitions. There are three definitions you need to know for acids and bases. The first definition is proposed by Arrhenius. According to Arrhenius, acid is substance that has hydrogens in its formula and dissociates in water to yield H+. From this example, we are interested in hydrochloric acid, the HCl. As long as acid character of H plus or H2O plus can be yielded in appropriate means, it doesn't matter if it do not involve water on the reactant side. Because some substance is capable to dissociate on its own, but some are not. Usually, substance that require water in its dissociations got weaker strength, but they are not always be the case. While base is a substance that has OH in its formula and dissociates in water to yield OH-. For example, we have sodium hydroxide to dissociate into sodium ion and OH- ion, where the base is now characterized by OH-. Second definition is proposed by bronsted lorry According to Bronsted, acid is a substance that can donate a proton H+, to other substance. Now we are interested in the methanoic acid to dissociate in water to form methanoic ion and H3O+, while NHO+, dissociates in water to form ammonia and H3 and H3O+. Note that acid will donate H+, to form species called conjugate base. While base is substance that can accept a proton H+, from other substance. So base of NH3 and carbonate ion dissociates in water to form ammonium ion and bicarbonate ion. So the species to be formed from the acceptations of proton is known as conjugate acid. Just want to make sure that everyone is on the same page. Conjugate is compound that differs by one proton. In a bronsted lorry acid base reactions, Conjugate base is a species formed after an acid donates its proton. For example, we have acid of ethanoic acid. They will donate their proton in here, the hydrogens, to form ethanoic ion. So the species that remain is called conjugate base. In contrast to conjugate acid, it's a species formed after a base except a proton. For example, we have ammonia. So this ammonia will act as base and then to form ammonium ion when the base accept a proton. So we have NH4 plus in here. So the species that remain is called conjugate acid. Given a reaction of ethanoic acid and water to form ethanoic ion and hydroxonium ions. So one of those in this reactant site will become the acid and also the base. So this ethanoic acid will act as acid and the species that remain is its conjugate base while water will act as base and the species that remain is called conjugate acid. It can be concluded that weak species, either acid or base, will form strong conjugate species, while the strong species, either acid or base, will form weak conjugate base. Lastly, Lewis proposed definitions of acids and bases according to electrons. So acids is a substance that can accept a pair of electrons to form a covalent bond. In other words, species with less electrons in its Lewis structure. So the example of acids according to Lewis can be grouped into four. The first one, they can be cations such as H+, Fe2+, Al3+. They can also be the molecules with incomplete or that central atoms such as BF3 or BeCl2. And then they can also be the molecules that have polar multiple bond except for the carbon-carbon double bond. And lastly, the species or can be Lewis acid when the molecules with central atom that can expand octets such as PCl3. Base is substance that can donate a pair of electrons to form a covalent bond. In other words, species with more electrons in its Lewis structure. So example of base according to Lewis can be grouped into three. They are anions such as OH-, CN- or Cl-. And then molecules with lone pair electrons at the central atom, such as H2O, NH3, or any other alcohol. And lastly, the molecules with non-polar multiple bonds, such as alkene, the carbon-carbon double bond. So let's try to illustrate the definitions according to Lewis. Given to you an example, 
involving ammonia and BF3 and then we are going to form this NH3BF with dative 1 in between. So we could see the species with more electrons here is considered as Lewis base while this incomplete octet of BF3 can be considered as Lewis acid. Acids and bases can be divided into strong and weak species according to their strength. Strong acid dissociates or ionizes completely in water, means no more traces of reactants left after the reactions has occurred. We'll be using single directions arrow to represent complete dissociations. Since these reactions will yield 100% product, therefore the Kc is expected to be very large. So example of strong acids can be hydrohalic acid, the acid with halogens, and oxo acids, the acid with oxygens. Let's see, we have this 0.5 molar nitric acid to start with, and then dissociates in water to form hydroxonium ion and nitrate ions. So once these reactions has undergo complete dissociations, the concentrations of nitric acid will become zero to produce hydroxonium ion and nitrate ion with 0.5 molar each. Note that this water molecule is in liquid states, so we can just ignore the value. Strong base dissociates or ionizes completely in water, just like strong acid, so the Kc is expected to be very large. The example of strong base are water-soluble molecules containing O2- or OH- ions. So they are M2O or MOH, where M will be the group 1 metal such as lithium, sodium and potassium. For this one, MO or MOH2, the M will be group 2 metal. So we have calcium, barium. So let's see, we're going to have 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide to dissociate in water to form sodium ion and hydroxide ion. Once these reactions undergo complete dissociations, the concentrations of product will become 0.5 molar each. Weak acid dissociates or ionizes partially, sometimes we use very slightly in water, means there are still traces of reactants left after the reaction has occurred. So we'll be using this reversible arrow to represent the partial dissociations. So since these reactions will yield only small amount of product, therefore the Kc is expected to be very small. Examples of weak acids are hydrohalic acid, oxo acids, acids that not bonded to oxygens or halogens, and organic acid which has COOH in its formula. Weak base dissociates or ionizes partially in water just like weak acid discussed earlier. So since they are going to dissociate very slightly, means the Kc is expected to be very small. Note that we're going to use this reversible arrow, and because this is a base, we want to show the characteristic of base, which is OH-. Some of the substances are not capable to dissociate this OH- on its own, therefore they need the help of this water molecule. So examples of weak base are molecules with nitrogen atom that got lone pair electrons on it. So they can be either ammonia, NH3 with this lone pair, or amine with lone pair on it. That's all for acid-based definitions. Thank you.